Okay, so here I have an equation x minus 5 divided by x squared is equal to 1 over 20. And here I'm trying to solve it. So I notice I have denominators here, so I want to get rid of those. And so I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by x squared. That's going to get rid of this one. And by 20. So that's going to get rid of this one. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 20x squared. And so you can see on the left side here, the x squareds will cancel like I wanted. And I'll be left with 20 times x minus 5 right here. And on the right, the 20s will cancel like I wanted, and I'll have x squared times 1, which is x squared. And a little shortcut, instead of thinking about what to multiply, you, what you can do instead is what they call cross multiply, which is when you have some a fraction equal to another fraction, you can say that multiply the diagonal. So multiply 20 times x minus 5, that's going to be equal to x squared times 1. And you can see that's how we got to this line, 20 times x minus 5 equals equal to x squared. It's kind of a little shortcut. Um, then we're, let's distribute the left side, right? We have 20 times x, which is 20x, and 20 times negative 5, which is negative 100, is equal to x squared. And now you can see we have a quadratic equation. And so to solve this, we want to move all the terms to one side, so we can the other side will be equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 20x from both sides to make negative 20x on the right, and then add 100 to both sides to get 100 on the right. And now you can see here, we can actually factor this equation, or factor this polynomial here into x minus 10 times x minus 10, right? x minus 10 squared. And then, so we can set both of these equal to 0, but they're the same thing, really. So just x minus 10 equals 0. And so x is equal to 10. And so that's going to be our final answer. You can actually check this. We should always, whenever you have rational equations, always check to make sure it doesn't mess up the denominator, right? You're not, you're not accidentally dividing by 0. But in this case, plug it in 10. Actually, why not? Let's check here. Right? We have 10 minus 5. That's 5. Divided by 10 squared, which is 100. So we have 5 divided by 100. And that is, in fact, equal to 1 over 20. And so this is our solution.